Hello there, welcome to this short and to the point five minute video uh, in which I'm going to give you some exercises where you're only playing the black notes. Bit of a novelty video, uh, very, very good for precision. I recommend, I recommend you do everything with your eyes closed and staccato, so no pedal, apart from one of the exercises a bit later. So the first one, just to get your fingers warmed up, is to simply choose all the five notes, the black notes, starting on C sharp, and just get used to playing them basically because you probably haven't really done anything like this before you're normally just doing normal technical exercises through different keys instead of only on the black notes so on the next set from E flat each one feels different of course due to the spacing F sharp uh, the uh, A flat one different positions let's try and keep it even on the A flat B flat one That's the uh, first idea. Now the next one is to do pairs or in threes or in fours, any finger combination, both hands or separately. So I'll demonstrate with the right hand first. Thumb and index finger, very simply, you're gonna jump up. Two octaves or three or just one, or go down as well. Last one to do, or you can do it in threes. which requires a little bit more brain power, or in fours, etc. Uh, and then doing it together, uh, you can also not just play, not just playing it once like this, but you can play the note twice, just to sort of get used to that, you like give it a double workout on each combination. So that one's little finger and ring finger in the left hand, let's just do maybe index and thumb on the left hand, and I don't know, middle and ring on the right hand. Each one is gonna give you a little bit of a brain workout and it's quite nice of course. Now the next one to do is to get the left hand a bit more melodically moving is to play any three notes. Let's just take the B flat and the E flat and the A flat. No, we're not thinking about keys or chords or progressions or anything. And just get a little movement going, a little pattern, an ostinato pattern. And you're going to put your thumb on any of the notes, let's put it on F sharp just to mix it all up a bit because it all kind of works. And you're just going to keep the thumb there and you're going to play any pairs of notes or as an alternation, as far as you can go, even if it's beyond an octave, you can jump a little bit if you want. And you're just gonna, you, the main thing is that your thumb stays on that F sharp. You can put the pedal if you want, just hold the pedal down, nothing complicated, and you just get these kind of nice little interesting melodies. Uh, well, there's a B flat flavor. And just kind of observe. What, what comes out, it's quite a nice one to do. And of course, do that in various positions. Uh, that's uh, quite a nice idea to do. Another one is that you can do basically everything I've just said, but with octaves, there's lots of octave -y stuff you can do here. Um, so the um, first one would be, of course, to just do the first exercise that we just did. Descending. How would we do that? Something like that, do it in threes. That's quite nice. And you can again make mel melodies with the right hand in octaves by just literally playing any note, again, while your left hand just moves moves around anywhere you want it to, literally anywhere, because all the black notes are safe. But you're, the main point is you're gonna have a melody in the right hand, so. Do that not too hard there um, there is one other idea where you can uh, take any three notes in the right hand let's just say the middle the F sharp A, A flat and B flat and you you sort of play those in in a in a kind of like a pattern in a kind of pattern like like this so you're just getting a bit of an inde finger independence workout. It's hard to explain this one. While the left hand is doing another pattern of its own. So let's just take five notes in the, let's take like all five notes, let's just say from F sharp, we're doing F sharp in the right hand, let's say B flat here. So we've got, we're doing this pattern, like this, as the right hand is doing this. It's a bit of a brain breaking exercise, so I'm gonna have to feel it out myself. That kind of thing, that's quite a nice one to do. Or we might just do only four notes in the left against three in the right. So let's do it in uh, yeah, the same, same kind of thing.
that kind of thing. But you can do it in any combination, any fingers. It's quite a nice thing to do. So in other words, just personalize all these kind of ideas on the black notes. Uh, you will um, do it with your eyes closed, which is always good for your internal piano. And of course, uh, precision, which is very, very important as well, especially on the octaves. I recommend doing a lot of this, uh, especially with the octaves. So just a short little video there to uh, give you something to play when you pass your piano for a minute or two. Something on the black notes there. So hopefully it's been of use to you as always. Likes, comments, subscriptions always welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Waterpenism Syllabus, perhaps Patreon and all my playlists. And I'll see you in the next video. All the best. Bye for now.